Hello everybody, it is Michael Brownstein here with the Food and Wine Life channel and I am here with my beautiful fiance, Eva Clay, and today we're going to talk about Silver Palm Cabernet Sauvignon 2019 from California. So let's get into this. So we're back and I just opened this bottle of wine and I'm going to pour us a glass and me and the Miss Beautiful Eva are going to talk about it. So Silver Palm is our on hand wine here in the house. Uh, it's a party uh, pleaser and uh, our everyday drinking wine. Um, Silver Palm comes from a north coast of California. Uh, it's aged in French and American oak barrels. Um, it's a great wine uh, for everyday use, I would say. Yeah, we use this quite a bit. Um, sometimes we just, if we just have to grab a quick bottle of wine to go somewhere, like to a cookout or a party or something, we'll take one or two of these and uh, everybody seems to enjoy it. So I poured us both a glass and we're going to... Um, Tell you what we think about it. All right. Let's air it out. So right at the beginning, when you open the bottle of wine, you definitely, um, it smells a little yeasty, like, um, like a uh, sweet bread dough. When you, if you ever baked sweet bread, that's what it reminds me of with a little bit of vanilla, definitely black cherry and blackberry. That's, that's the first nose I'm getting in the first minute or so of opening the wine. Yeah, I can, I can actually smell the cherry in it immediately when I, um, yes, when I it's smell very, it. Yeah. Very cherry forward and develops into chocolate and cocoa powder, I would say. Yeah, it actually smells, it actually has a nice smell to it. It's um, not a, I mean, we've had this wine before, but we're doing a review on it and it's definitely a. Um, we're paying just a little bit more attention. Yes, we're just paying a little <laughs> bit more attention to it. To detail. Yeah, to try to explain it. So, mm -hmm. yep. So, yeah, I can smell a little bit of anise now. Yeah, I can, I can still smell the cherry in it. Oh, yes. So. It's very cherry forward, I would say. Blackberry, dark fruit. Um, let's, let's uh, while we're airing it out, uh, let's, let's check the color. The color is definitely ruby red. It's, it's pretty dark for everyday table wine, I would say. Yeah, you can. You for can, the price. Yeah, you can barely see the stem mm -hmm. if you really look at it. I'd say it's medium colored. Um, yeah, it's kind of dark. Yeah, medium uh, dark in yeah. color. Mm -hmm. Ruby red. So. It still has a little young color to it. It's not too brown. Right. Yes. But it's definitely. Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's give yeah. it a taste. It has good legs on it too. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers. Nice It needs to air up this another, this a little bit longer, but it's not bad just for the first sip. It's yeah, definitely uh, dark fruit forward. Um, I even the the end of the so when I got the first sip, I got very nice juicy dark fruit, and then it developed in some tannins, a little bit of chocolate in my mouth. And then after a um, few seconds, I could taste a little bit of ripe apple at the end. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely tastes like a, I mean, a, a nice, you know, strong, basic Cabernet to me. It's definitely. I can, I, mean, I can taste tobacco in it. But it's, it's. It's developed. In about four minutes, um, I can taste the tobacco. I can smell the tobacco. Actually, the tobacco lingers in my mouth right now. Yeah, it's actually starting to smooth out, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. 
definitely toasted oak. Yeah, it's, it's I yeah. mean, you definitely know you're drinking a, a It's Cabernet. a rich, yeah. rich, I mean, savory cob. Yeah, it's not no jammy wine or anything like that. No. It's not no. jammy or, or um, I mean, it's, it's a Cabernet. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's definitely a Cabernet Savion and it's, yeah. Know, so. It would be great with duck, beef, steak. What else would you make with it, Mike? He's my cook. Yeah, I would, um. Red meat. I mean, I immediately think red meat for sure with that. Um, steaks, fillets, um, even hamburgers, or um, maybe some, maybe surf and turf, something like that. Yeah, surf and turf would be good with it. Yeah, um, surf yeah. and turf. Yeah. Or even like maybe some pork, pork carnitas or something. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, some, this yes. something like, you know, that like we would do probably, mm -hmm. or maybe True. a brisket or something. But mm -hmm. I would definitely... Stay with meat for sure. Yeah. No, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. I, I, again, for the vegans and vegetarians, that would upstand to a lot of things with tomato, like Italian based dishes with tomato um, sauce and um, also portobello mushrooms and any warm tone dishes right. would be great with that too. Yeah. So I would, um, we, like I said, we drink this wine all the time, really. So we're kind of, um, Spoiled to it, I guess. So we, <laughs> but it was great the experience to so tasting it step by step while it's opening up because yeah. usually we just snuck and have a glass of wine and we never really um, let's taste it again. Yeah, let's let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's definitely opened up and um, it's definitely mm -hmm. smoothed out a lot and. Oh, it's oh, about six minutes. I've noticed that a lot of wines really open up in about six minutes. So that's great news uh, right. for any of us. And and really for the for the price point, it's it's a very good wine. I I would say. Yeah, it it runs anywhere from sixteen dollars, and here where we're at, it's twenty two bucks. I think in yeah, our grocery so, store. Yeah, so it's. I would say that. Um, you on know, average, it's a great wine for 20 bucks. Yep. And it's very versatile and it's got a cool name, Silver Palm. Yes. So this is going to wrap up our little review of it. The Silver mm -hmm. Palm Cabernet 2019. Yes. And I would say that I would um, recommend it for just like a average daily drinker or, um, or if you have to go to a little party or something like a barbecue or something. So. Definitely crowd pleaser. Yep. Cheers. Cheers.